Hello and welcome to another Scratch tutorial. So today we're going to go back to the tank game. Um, you have to follow the first two tutorials to um, at make this, but basically we're going to make a two-player tank battle game. So first, first of all, um, I'm going to get rid of the little bad guys because we don't need them. But I'm going to leave the gas cans. The next thing we'll have to do is do some modifications to some of the existing code. Let's add a couple more because I think I deleted a couple. And we can just place these in a couple places. So, um... Okay, it's not my my mouse is a little being a little out. So so we're going to start this by moving the shotgun part out. Well, we can find a way to change that later. But for now, we're just going to do this. Um, and actually, we're going to make it um, a little more interesting. So that it's not super consistent. So that you don't fire perfectly consistently. Now we're going to actually change this to down arrow. Because you're going to have two players. Um, Alright, so then um, go to sprite 1, point in that direction. Then we're going to have it start by moving 10 steps, then showing... Actually, I think we could get away with at least six. So you you see how now, if I press the down key, it appears not touching the tank because we're going to have the same color of um, the same color of weapons for each thing. Now we're going to go here. Um, at the beginning, we actually are going to have it start right here. In actually, maybe. Let's let's have it over here. My mouse is really having issues. <laughs> so let's start it right here. That's where your tank will start. Um for this player. So it will go to here. I actually point in the opposite direction. You can make this however you want, but um that's how this is how I'm going to do it. So you start here instead. Oh look, you can already shoot that one. And then you can drive around. It's super slow right now because... Actually, I think I can probably close some of these things. Okay. Whatever. Um, I'll close that someday. <laughs> so, um, now we want to right-click on this and duplicate it. So now, we're in this programming. Let's change the color. of this actually brightness all the way up and we're going to make this green colored bitmap I don't know why I'm using this tiny of a color but it'll work so this will be the other team the other tank I guess and they're going to use WASD so Instead of up arrow, you're going to use W. Instead of left arrow, you're going to use A. Uh, I should have done that in the other order. And then you're going to use D for the other, for right. And you can make whatever controls you want. This is just what I prefer. Um, now, go if you go up here, let's duplicate this. So this is the second laser. Um... If we scroll down, oh, actually, let's change this to S because we need both tanks to be able to shoot. And you also want to be careful of keyboard ghosting, but 
I wish we could just like type in a letter and it would work. Um, then instead of Sprite 1, we needed to go to Sprite 5. Because that's the other thing. So now... Oops. Uh, and another thing we have to do is on the tank... Okay, we need to take this tank and move it to its starting position, which can be like right here. <coughs> We're going to replace it with that and make it point in the opposite direction. Okay, so now you have two tanks that can both drive around, shoot stuff. Oh, and sorry about that. I forgot to change one other thing. Uh, I really should write little memos. Um, go to the shoot sprite. Instead of sprite 1, make that sprite 5. Wrong. Ah, this is really bothering me. <laughs> Because I duplicated that, I just want to check. Yeah, okay. I think I messed that up somewhere. Okay. So now, we have two tanks that can shoot. Pew. Pew, pew. Okay. I think this might be another issue with Scratch. Nope. It just automatically changes all the time. Okay, here we go. Now we have two tanks that can shoot. So you have to be careful of the defaults because every time you switch sprites, it will automatically become X position. So kind of an annoying feature of Scratch, if you can call it a feature. Um, something I do want to add is a little barrier in the middle first so that it's a little harder to get to each other. Fill, black... All right, so now we want to make um, two variables. Actually, let's do that in no caps. So make two health variables for each tank. Put them on their respective sides. And now on flag, set green and purple tank health to a number you choose. I'm going to make it 100. After, if you make this and and make it successfully, um, then I would suggest. Um, I would suggest um, making an upgrade system where you can change weapons and other things. So now, um, so let's duplicate this. If touching color of that, except we're going to change this to red. Um, Okay, then it will change, then get an if else statement. Now grab a purple thing. Um, now get a greater or less than variable, not variable thing. So if make sure it's on the greater side, which is the alligator mouth pointing towards that. If it's greater, actually greater than five, then change purple tank health by minus five. So you really have like 20 lives. Um, 
Elf. It will set green, not green, red, purple tank health to zero. Um, and then let's just have it broadcast a message. The new scratch is confusing. <laughs> then it will broadcast new message. Green wins. Nope. Oh, green wins. Now we're going to drag this and drop it into that sprite. Green. Green. I'm just duplicating this, so. No, nope, not red. I keep forgetting the colors because I'm so used to green and red, but I made it purple. So let's drive over here. So first, as you can see, so because of the shooting modification we made so that it doesn't start touching the tank, um, it doesn't like injure itself while it's shooting. But then if you see, if I take aim, oh, and you can also see that firing inconsistency. You can see that health is going down. If you blow up a barrel really close to yourself, then your health goes down to zero because, yeah, it's stupid to blow up barrels right next to yourself. And that's just because of elongated exposure to that. And then, um, so now you have two tanks that can fight each other. Let's make one more sprite. And this will be the final sprite. So, so let's make purple text. So this is costume one, where purple wins. And you can make these whatever color you want, it doesn't really matter. And we're going to drag this to the middle so that it shows up that way. And then this one. We're going to make it green wins. Bias, right? <laughs> I'm gonna make it a little smaller. I actually prefer purple, it's my favorite color. So, um, on flag, hide, and then when I receive these two messages. Then it will switch costume to costume one, and on this one it will switch costume to costume two, then it will show. And then it will stop all. They, they changed the color if you remember Scratch. The only issue with the stop all block is you have to click flag twice, but that's fine. All right, so now if we go over there, woohoo! I'm a really fast tank, and we're having incredible glitches. Pew 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 pew. pew. See, then purple wins, and the same would go for green. Like, if I drove up to a barrel, pew. Not all the way. Yep. And there you have it. And that is the two-player tank tutorial, sort of part three. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.